All right, so now that we have our scale set, we're gonna continue on learning more about availability by creating an application gateway. So this is actually a type of load balancer, even though it has gateway in the name. Then there's Azure load balancers, and the difference between these two is this one's layer seven for the applications, and this is layer four. Uh, so TCP, UDP, like at a lower layer. So, uh, you know, since we have a web application, which is a simple Apache page, we're gonna to wanna to serve it up via the application gateway, all right? So make your way over to the top here and we'll click on application gateway or just type that in. And we'll go ahead and add ourselves a new application gateway. We'll choose Wolf here. I'm gonna name this Wolf um, uh, application AGW. And then we do not, uh, we don't need any uh, auto scaling right now. So we'll just leave that alone. I'm gonna set that to one. We're gonna choose two, one, and three because the rule of three counts here. We always want three. And then down below, make sure you choose the correct virtual network. If you're not confident, make sure you go over to your scale set and just double check to make sure uh, where it resides. So if I go over here into my scale set and check, it's in WolfNet, uh, WolfVNet 499. How I ended up with more than one, I don't know. I just had the tutorial, I've done this few revisions, so I've ended up with an additional one there. Notice it's complaining because it's trying to uh, put this in the default, but it needs its own uh, subnet. So here under subnets, we're gonna create one just for the VGW, so VGW. And we're gonna need a range first, so go over to address uh, space ranges, and we'll pick out the next number. So 10.0.2.0 forward slash 24. We'll hit save. And once that has created, we'll make our way over to the subnet. And when we hit subnet, it will automatically select the next one for us. I'm gonna put VGW in here. We'll hit save. And then once that's saved, we'll make our way back to the wizard. Notice up here, the bread comes. If we click one back, we can make our way uh, back to where we are and then choose that VGW subnet. We'll go to the front to the front end uh, section here. We got public, private, or both. We want public today and we will need a new IP address. So I'm gonna call this uh, wolf. VGW, we'll go ahead and hit OK. We'll go to backends here, add a backend pool. I'm just gonna call this backend and we'll drop down and choose a virtual machine scale set. If you do not see it here, it's because they're not in the same VNet, make sure that's the case. And then we'll go to configuration. So we got a front end, a back end. Now we got to glue them together with routing rules. We'll just say my rules. We have listeners and backend targets. So we'll name our listener name, my listener, <laughs> if you can spell it. That's a hard one for me. So I'm just gonna copy paste that in, take out the space there. Uh, we, the front end IP is it's gonna be public. We're gonna have HTTP on port 80. We'll have basic if we had multi-site. So if you have more than one destination, but we do not. We'll go to backend targets and we will choose the backend pool that we created. And then we have to choose or add um, HTTP settings. This is all kind of crammed together. It doesn't really line up very well. So I get a bit confused here. So I think what we want to do is hit add new here. And then we'll say my HTTP settings. Uh, port 80 is good. We do not have cookies. We do not care about connection draining. All these options are not important to us uh, for our very simple application. Um, but if you were creating a real web application that, uh, that has a session, you probably would want to turn these both on, okay? We'll go ahead and hit add. And we do have path-based routing, but this is not something we uh, need to worry about right now. This is where you could say, you could have multiple targets. So you could say, okay, anytime it is uh, cookie, then go to this virtual machine. And then if it's another one, you could say go somewhere else or even do a redirect. That's a great way of attaching things to your um, uh, virtual machine there. We'll go ahead and hit add. And so now we have all of our information. We'll hit tags and we will go hit create. And I'll see you back here uh, when this is done deploying, okay? All right, so I've been waiting a while here for uh, this to complete, but uh, it looks like that we're still having a bit of trouble uh, so what I'm going to do is make my way over to the actual uh, load balancer here because I just remembered and this happens because I don't normally make a scale set separately. I usually make it with the load balancer. But if we make our way over to the back end pool and we we're to click into here, it actually has a, a, a thing that says down here, virtual machine scale set was added to this back end pool. Upgrade all instances of Wolf scale set for this change to work. So uh, the, the scale set needs to get updated is the, is the problem here. So what I'm going to do is make my way over to the scale set and we'll see if we can do an upgrade here. So if we just checkbox them all on there, I'm gonna go hit upgrade. And then this will perform an upgrade on the instances. And we'll just give that some time and I'll see you back here in a moment. 
Okay, so that didn't take too long for the upgrade. And if you just hit the refresh here, you're gonna wait for the status goes running and now they're all healthy. So if we make our way back to um, our load bouncer tab here, if you still have something open, just go to back end pools. You should see three targets. If we go up to our overview over here, we'll go grab, whoops, our IP address. Now why the uh, they copy the text there, I have no idea. But if we go paste that up into here and take that out, we get our page. So there you go. That's all it took to get the availability um, or the actual server running. If we go on the left hand side and we go over to health probes, this is interesting to look at. We're not going to set it up, but I just want to show you that you'd write in your uh, health check here and then you could specify um, a different path. So if you had like a page called, and this is pretty common for a lot of places, they'll have a page called health check. And so that's a just a kind of like a way to configure a custom health check uh, for your instances. But this is all I really wanted to accomplish here today. Um, I don't think there's really much of anything else that I'd like to do here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go and make our way back to all of our resources and we'll try to find our original uh, resource group here. If we can uh, find, it's probably easier if we just go to resource groups. Great, and I'll just go ahead and delete this one here. There we go, it's gonna delete a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, there we go.